Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome to VR Essentials, where you can get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. In today's video, we're going to be looking at, at a really cool app called Eleven Table Tennis for the HP Reverb G2. So, are you ready? Let's go! As today's video is a little bit longer than usual, we have put some timestamps in the description below. We're going to go through absolutely everything, including how to optimize the best graphic settings as possible, as well as show you various different lighting setups to make sure you don't lose tracking of any kind, specifically when you're using the HP Reverb G2. And by the way, if you enjoy these kind of videos, then please hit the like button and also leave a comment below if you have any questions, of course, I'll be very happy to get back to you. But in the meantime, let's jump into VR. All right, so we are inside of the Mixed Reality home for us HP Reverb G2 users. But of course, you can use your Oculus Quest with your Link or your HTC Vive, your Valve, your Pico Neo 2 or whichever other VR headset you might have. For us, we need to make sure that we go to all apps and then look for Steam VR, as this is where we need to launch all our apps in order to ensure we have the proper controller binding. So I'm going to launch it right now. And by the way, I am using the VR Wave lens prescription lenses adapters, which are fantastic. So go to the description below in the like button to check those out. We've also done numerous videos about them and telling you they are super awesome. So once you're inside of here, basically what we're going to do is we're going to be launching our 11 table tennis. So let's go. Now, a couple of things to let you know before we go through the gameplay, just a couple of tips, because what is going to happen is two things. First of all, I've noticed with the latest Steam VR updates that when you load the games for the very first time, you will see this screen coming up. So don't worry if you see this for the very first time. All you have to do is click on return game on here to get rid of it. And then the other thing is you'll notice that you're maybe you're not placed in the right direction. Now, there is a way to fix this. The first thing, of course, would be to click on reset standing position and then you just, you know, look wherever you want. Then normally it will bring you back where you're supposed to be. However, you can see that here I'm not placed properly. So let's just do it once more. There we go. And I'm going to show you what happens if you, so for example, it still hasn't done it for us. So all you have to do, if this is the case where you're stuck, or let's say that when you click the reset button, you are still next to the person and it didn't bring you to the other side, just hold your, press and hold the grab button at the table. And then you'll see it turns gray and basically you're able to manipulate where the table is going to be in terms of height and placement. Now bring it more towards him. There we go, like so. All right, so when you're inside of the game, what you can see is you're inside of a chalet. Now there are different environments which you can choose. There are a lot of different options in this game. I will go through this very shortly with you guys. Now everything is very sharp, very crisp. We're also going to be changing the graphic settings just so that you can see how far we can push things and also to make sure that, you know, if your computer perhaps is not as powerful as someone else's computer, then you can, you know, change the graphic settings to make it more smoother for you. So let's go into the menu. So there are other things that you can change in terms of the table. So let's go to the settings here and you go to the table settings here because we were just talking about the table just now. Now there is a way so that it doesn't drag the table all the time. All you have to do is disable this button here. Okay. It's really that simple. But for me, I like to drag it whenever I want. It doesn't really bother me during the gameplay. So I'm just going to leave it here. You can also go through all these various different things and you can also change your height to make it, you know, shorter or higher at your desire. Now, as I mentioned, you will be able to change the environment to several different environments. And by the way, now, even though everything is crisp and sharp inside of here, the skybox itself for the chalet and specifically the chalet scene is actually blurry. So if you're not comfortable to, you know, look at blurred images or, you know, it might give you some motion sickness just to let you know. So perhaps you may want to change to a different scenery or just avoid, you know, paying attention to the outside part as everything else inside is top crisp and all good. So let's go back to the settings. Now, there are a couple of things you can do, which are pretty cool. The first thing is the global haptics. You can go to basically the debug section, which is what it's called and change the haptic power, whether you want your controller to be better, you know, to have more haptic feedback or less. And then also the collision timer as to how fast you want it 
to have the haptic feedback or how delayed you want the time to be, you know, to have the haptic feedback effect, basically. So we just click on the icon again to go backwards. And then also you can have a debug graphics to let you know what's what. And then you can also record the latency log if this is something that you need. Now, the other thing you can do, of course, is you can change whether you actually want haptic feedback altogether or not. And then also you can change all the various different things here. And whether you want the ball to have some kind of boost to it, um, you know, I haven't really changed this thing, but perhaps you may want to, you know, just look at it for your own purpose. Now, content creators, by the way, you can choose to take down the music completely. I won't put the music on. The music you can hear right now is a different music, which won't have any copyright infringements of any kind. So do know that you can turn off the music here, even if it's not specifically for copyrights, but just because you don't feel comfortable playing with music, then you can switch it off here. And then also you'll be able to chat with people in multiplayer. So this is where you can basically change the volume of your microphone. If, for example, people tell you, I can't really hear you, or, oh my God, your mic is too loud, then you can come here. And then also you'll see the green bar here. So if I bring it down, the green bar isn't going to go as high. So this will be your testing ground there. All right, so in terms of the avatar, there are two things you can do. You can actually change the mask. So if you want you know, to wear a mask, then you'll be able to change it here. So this is quite fun. I'm just going to leave it on this one. And then also what you can do is actually change the actual avatar as to how you look like. I think for Facebook users, uh, your avatar will basically you know, look like your Facebook account. But you can also choose to change it, of course. And then they have several different ones. They could, you, you can choose all kinds of different skin colors and creeds and nationalities and all those kind of things. And then you can also choose to play as your mask. So let's just leave it as that for now. All right, then the other thing you can do, of course, is you can change the paddle service. Now, I don't really know what this is because it doesn't seem to you know, make a difference, but you can flip the paddle to change the color by going to flip paddle. You can also edit the presets. So there's so many different things you can do here. Uh, you can customize the bounciness, the spin, the throw coffee, coefficient C, sorry. Um, there's just so much you can do here. So of course, uh, you know, and these things might make it more comfortable for you uh, during your gameplay. And then you can also change the actual paddle uh, position as the way you want it. Uh, to your own desire. All right, the player settings you can choose to have, of course, left-handed or right-handed. So this is something else that you can do. And you can also choose to change your name. For example, here it says VR Essentials. So you can just go and type whatever you want to change that. All right, now let's go through the graphics. I'm going to give you some really useful tips. So do make sure that you follow this section very closely. The first thing is if you notice up there and then also outside on the edges, you notice that if I put it to low, all the edges are much more jaggered and also the actual environment is more blurry. So the difference is I would say about 10% or 15%. So generally speaking, I leave it on high. You can edit as well. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. The other thing you can do is change the appearance of your table from default, which is green, or you can have it dark, which is pretty cool. Now notice the shadows on the table and also on the paddle. I mean, the paddle looks really well done. The textures are really cool. Really, I mean, it's pretty incredible. The amount of realism they put in this game is really phenomenal. And then the other thing you could change is also put the ball to default color, which is white, as you can notice here, or you can change it to custom. Now custom will be orange color, as you can notice. Now. Follow closely on this section, especially for HP Reverb G2 users. If you don't want to have any issues whatsoever and you don't want the blue screen effect, then follow here. Now these, when you click on edit the custom settings, these are the recommended settings that I file you would not change. Now, if you're a Facebook user or some other kind of user, perhaps you can go and change it. But for us HP Reverb G2 users, I would not recommend it to change it. So make sure you leave it on high and 140% is more than enough. In fact, if you're having issues because your graphics card is not as good as perhaps an RTX 2070 or, you know, 2060 or uh, sorry, 3060 and all these kind of things, then perhaps you could change it also here. So the way to do this is you go to create presets and first of all, give it a name and then click on save. 
all right then go to the saved one and this is where you can make the changes all right now i personally if you have an rtx 2070 do not recommend you go higher than 140 because when i tried 160 180 especially 200 everything just freezes and i get blue screen so just be aware of that so in fact i'm just going to delete the preset and then this one also i'm going to delete the preset because i just don't need them however i am going to put it on high because this is absolutely fine all right so let's go and check out some other scenes so all you do is click on this icon there let's go to studio first and then click ok and boom here we are so you can tell it looks really nice very cozy inside of here and then the skybox is pretty nice nice sunny day outside Ooh, you really want to go out there and then the other one that they have is arena i think the arena is new if i'm not wrong or been released only for a few weeks and then there we go now this is pretty fantastic because of course if there were some esports sponsors we could create some really cool competitions and then various different sponsors could pay back the developers and put all the various different logos everywhere i think they'll be really really awesome for the future in advertising and vr without you know things being in your face all right so there are other things that you can do in the game we can really go on for a long time which will be the mini games so the mini games you can do ball machine quadrant beer pong free practice surf practice and the war so we can go to start game so this is pretty awesome if you want to play by yourself of course as you can tell there's no no issue with the tracking on my end so we can change the uh the ball bounce and all these kind of things in the settings of course so this is pretty fun they have so many different mini games it's pretty cool now the ball machine is also very good practice and there's so many different settings that you'll see on your left hand side up there you can practice everything at your heart's desire from your forehand your backhand your serve your lob you can change the angle of the actual machine itself you can also choose the vertical angle as well i mean it's really amazing as to what you can you can change in here i have to admit So if we bring it back here, there we go. And you can make it rotate also. I mean, you can customize absolutely everything. It is really, really incredible, I have to admit. So really crazy stuff. But I'll let you do all your experimentation on your own time. Now for the really good, cool stuff, before we move into the actual Steam VR graphic settings and changing things to see how far we can take it, let's do some actual gameplay, shall we? And then later I'm going to show you the multiplayer online version too. All right, would you like to learn how to serve? No, but you can if you want to. So your name will be here, your opponent's name might be on the other side. And then the points are over there on the left hand side and then sometimes they're on the right hand side as well. So I'm not going to play, you know, within the rules. Who cares? Let's just do some gameplay. All right, so the good thing is that even if you get things wrong, they allow you to continue playing which is good now as i mentioned before the ai is very very strong okay uh, the other thing i'm going to do is after i've done some gameplay i'm going to change the lighting setup just to show you that basically even with less lights that are not bouncing directly to my face you can also play pretty comfortably without any tracking issues specifically with the hp reverb g2 of course and also i'm going to show you the uh, graphic settings when we change them inside of Steam VR, whether it makes any difference or not. But so far, you know, very comfortable. The gameplay is pretty good. The sound effects are very realistic. Of course, it'd be lovely to hear the crowd and, you know, all those kind of things, which I'm sure are going to come in the future without a doubt. So, you know, this game is only going to evolve more and more and more. It is currently what I would say the number one game in VR when it comes to table tennis there isn't to my knowledge another game that even comes close to this close to this sorry so as you can tell I have no issues whatsoever playing I'm very comfortable the height of my table is all good my opponent is playing as he's supposed to be and then what we can do is we can also uh, so we can end the game and then we can go to world class and just change the AI's uh, capabilities and then we're going to there we go, go here, old class, start game. So you have to click, as I just mentioned, on your own face. There we go. 
Let's do this. All right. I served in the wrong box. Whoa. Oh, much faster now. So the AI is much more difficult. Plays much faster. Up. Oh, smash. Okay, never mind. Is it my turn? All right. Okay, he's serving now. Can be very confusing. I don't actually know the rules to table tennis, I have to admit. And I haven't played in such a long time. But, you know, there's no issue with the tracking. Let me just end the game here. And then let's put him back on medium. So you click on your own little man here, basically. Put it on medium and then start game. All right, so I guess it's this. No, it's not here either. Okay. Or maybe I have to serve closer to the table. I'm not sure. Okay, I will try not to move the head so much. There we go. And then you can really go further away from the table if you have this play space to give you also. All right, his turn to serve. I'm almost touching the black backdrop, as you can tell on the camera. And I'm having absolutely no issues whatsoever. There we go. My turn. Oh, okay, finally, a right serve. Okay, his turn to serve. And I'm moving around the table just to show you that I'm not having any issues with the tracking so far. So, so far, so good. All right, so that's it for that. All right, so now let's look at multiplayer, which is the point of this game. So the first thing is if you go to profile, you'll notice your rank score, your world rank, and also the ranked wins. And also you can go and check out the match history if you want to go and see all the various different matches you've done. The other thing you can do is go to leaderboard and check out all the various different scores of all the various different people, of course. And you're gonna to have to use the arrows in order to scroll up and down, otherwise it won't work. And then you can go into rooms, which are rooms created by various different people. And then you can go inside and you can click on their name, either add them as a friend, or you can perhaps challenge them if they were online. You can also search for specific people for your own friends that you may have added as well to be able to play with them. And then finally, you can go to the lobby. Now in the lobby, you can search by just friends, nobody, or you can search for everybody. You can also mic your you can mute your microphone from here also if you don't want people to be able to hear you whilst you're talking and then you'll see everyone is here you can scroll up and down all the various different people by clicking on the arrows and then you can basically send a challenge and then start to play against various different people so that's pretty awesome so now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to switch off for example this light and this light at the front also and i'm also going to switch off one of these lights. So I'm basically left with the ceiling light and also one light that is bouncing against the black backdrop. And by the way, it's not recommended to use a black cloth of any kind or dark color. So I'm really putting the HP Reverb G2 to its paces. And let's just do a very quick gameplay with the AI as well. So let's go back to the menu, to home, put it on medium and start game. And let's just see whether there's any differences in the tracking with the HP Reverb G2. All right, it's my turn. Oh, no, restart game. Okay, so I lost the game. All right, so here we go. We're starting the game just to see if there's any difference in terms of the tracking. And remember, you can change the bounce of the ball, the spin, and all these kind of things. Also, if you find that the standard um, settings that come within the game are not to your liking. So you really have no excuse <laughs> to be able to play 11 table tennis VR. And as you can tell, I'm moving around. There's no issue with the tracking so far at the moment, even with much, much less lighting inside of the room. Okay, his turn to serve. There we go. And we can play really for a long time. Up. So HP did do an update very recently with the Windows Mixed Reality, which, well, it wasn't so recently. It was about a couple months ago, I think. And it's really improved the tracking so dramatically. It's pretty impressive, I have to admit, compared to, of course, when it had first come out where there were some issues back then. But these issues, honestly, are non-existent. As you can tell, basically, here, by playing table tennis, 
it is completely adequate and mint for it so no issues whatsoever all right and just smash oh he got it <laughs> So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to bump up the settings of 11 Table Tennis and we're going to do it from the Steam VR home because I'm going to explain to you as to what happened. So all you have to do is bring up your menu and then go to uh, settings and then go to basically video here and then you can go to per application video settings. So we're going to choose 11 Table Tennis, which is this one here. Now, when I put it to 500%, you need to know that I had a blue screen and everything completely froze and nothing worked whatsoever. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bump it to, let's say, 300%. And then let's just see what happens, whether I'm going to have similar issues or whether the game is actually going to be able to play without any problems whatsoever. All right, let's launch it. And guys, just a reminder to be part of the notification squad by enabling the notification bell because I do upload videos quite regularly to the channel. And if you don't want to miss those videos, then by all means, make sure you click on the bell so that YouTube tells you when I upload a new video. All right, so after clicking on 300%, I'm not able to actually load the game. It is still a black screen for me. So we're gonna have to redo this and basically lower down the setting. All right, so we're back inside of Steam VR Home. So as I just mentioned, we had put the settings to 300%. So if I go to the settings and then go to video per application, and then we go and look for 11 table tennis, there we go. As you can see, it's 300%. It basically booted me out and everything just froze. So it didn't work. Let's go and put it on 150% and see whether we have any issues. In fact, let's put it on 180 and see whether we have any issues with the settings there also all right so we can close this go to return home there we go and then let's click on 11 table tennis and see whether 180 percent will launch the game without any issues or whether you know we're going to be booted out once more so at 180 percent as you can tell the graphics are all over the place it's just simply not working properly whatsoever so let's see if i can change the graphics from here or whether I'm going to have to go back to the actual main menu itself. Okay, I can change it from here, so that's good. Let's go back to the video settings. And let's just bring it down all the way to 100% where it's supposed to be and then just close, return game. There we go, we have no problems whatsoever. Everything is good. So guys, now you know in terms of the graphics for this specific game that you're going to have to, in the graphic settings, you can maybe put it to high, but in the edit presets, make sure it's not above this or above, you know, maybe put in medium if you can't tolerate high. So don't change it. Don't put it to 160 or 180 or 200. And then inside of Steam VR, make sure that you're no bigger than this setting. Otherwise, you're definitely going to have some issues. But if you are a 360 or 380, you know, RTX Nvidia card owner, do leave a comment below and, you know, to let us know whether you can put it higher. But as far as the RTX 2070 is concerned, this is as high as we can go.